Today we're reading The Country Mouse and the City Mouse, along with The Fox and the Crow and The Dog and His Bone. Three Aesop fables told by Patricia Scary, pictures by Richard Scary. The Country Mouse and the City Mouse. Annie Mouse lived quietly in the country. One day, her friend from the city came to visit her. Annie was delighted. Melissa, dear, welcome to the country, she said. Do come in. Annie Mouse asked some friends in for lunch, but Melissa did not eat one nibble of the meal Annie proudly served. In the city, I dine on spice cakes and wine, said the city mouse rather grandly. In the city, I have a machine that plays music, and I dance on a velvet carpet said Melissa. Oh, Annie, don't you leave, live, leave this dull country life behind and come to the city with me? My, it does sound tempting, said Annie. So Annie rode off to the city with her friend. Honk, honk, beep, beep, toot, toot. Please drive slowly, begged Annie. Can't hear a word, screamed Melissa. Isn't it marvelous fun? Melissa's home in the city was beautiful and such fun to explore. Gaily, they raced down the hall. Suddenly, woo, 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 barked a fierce, angry voice. Hell, it's the dog, squeaked Melissa. And the two friends ran, shaking with fright. They slammed the dining room door just they slammed the dining room door just in time and the poor country mouse was almost fainted with fear. But Melissa said, "Oh, he chases me all the time. Come, Annie, climb up on the table beside me. Have you ever seen such food?" "Never," gasped Annie, still shaking with fright. They were dainty bits of spice cake, a fine cheese, and even a drop of wine in the glasses. Ooh, I am seeing things, squeaked Annie suddenly. I, I, I see a cat. It is a cat, cried Melissa. Run, run. And they slammed the living room door just in time. Oh, sobbed Annie. I've never been so frightened. Oh, nonsense. You'll get used to it, said Melissa. There, I've put on the music machine. Would you care to dance? Suddenly, the door flew open and there was a fearful noise. It's the vacuum cleaner, shrieked Melissa. Hold on to the curtains, Annie. Hold tight or the vacuum will gobble you up. At last, the dreadful machine left and the country mouse began to run. Annie, where are you going? called Melissa. Home to the country, squeaked Annie. Goodbye, Melissa. Thank you for the very nice time. Oh, help! Oh, oh, oh! The little mouse ran through the city. She ran and ran and ran, and she did not stop until she was safe in the quiet green country. That night, she told her gentle friends, I would rather lead a simply life than dine on riches and live in fear. The Fox and the Crow. A crow sat in a high tree holding a tasty bit of cheese in her mouth. Along came a hungry warthog. The crow will laugh when she sees my funny face, he said, and when she laughs, she'll drop the cheese. He called to the crow, making a funny face, but the crow did not even smile. She was enjoying her little game. Along came a hungry tiger. Fly down to me, crow, coaxed the tiger sweetly. Place that cheese on my nose and I'll show you a clever trick. But the crow did not move. She did not trust the tiger. Along came a hungry little elephant. Drop the cheese to me, crow, said the elephant, or I will give you a shower bath. But the crow did not drop the cheese, even though 
<laughs> the tr elephant's trunk sent up a stream of water. Um, drop, uh, uh, drop the cheese to me, you ugly, uh, you, you ugly old bird, called the big brown bear, and you may have this, um, honey from the, from the bee. But the crow did not like honey, and she did not drop the cheese. The crow was about to eat the cheese when along came a cunning little fox. Oh, beautiful crow, he called, you are so lovely to see, a bird with such charming feathers and must must have a pretty tune to sing please please would you sing for me now the crow had never been told she was pretty although she thought she was and she had never been told that her voice was pretty she opened her beak and rasped an ugly Caw! down tumbled the cheese into the fox's mouth now wasn't she a silly bird to let that sweet talk fool her? The Dog and His Bone A little dog hurried to the stream with a large, juicy bone in his mouth. He wanted to eat the bone all by himself. So he ran across a log that bridged the stream. Then, in the water, he saw a picture of himself. But he thought it was another dog. Ah! Now I shall have two nice bones to eat thought the greedy little dog. He growled and snapped at the other dog, and splash, his bone fell in the water. And so did he. Now he had nothing to eat. Greedy, greedy, makes a hungry puppy. That was a short one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good night. I love you.